So what is the conclusion that we can draw from here? We see that when P is parallel to E, by parallel mean, means it is, it is parallel as well as the direction is the same. Anti-parallel is when the direction is opposite but they are collinear. Okay. So it is, uh, when I am saying parallel, I am also talking about the direction as well as the concept of parallelism that you know that they are actually parallel. Right. So, when E is parallel to P, when E is parallel to P, the net force experienced by, the net force experienced by the net force experienced by the dipole is in the direction of increasing field, increasing field, okay. Okay, when E is anti-parallel, when E is anti-parallel to P, they are anti-parallel, E is in this direction and P is in that. Anti-parallel means though they are parallel, but the direction is anti, right? When E is anti-parallel to P, the force is in the the force is in the decreasing direction of in the in the direction of in the direction of decreasing field correct Now it has got an interesting fallout. It has got an interesting fallout. Okay, what is that fallout? The fallout is, is a very, very simple thing that must have fascinated you in your childhood. Let us say this is a comb, okay? This is a comb. Okay, and you vigorously comb your hair on a dry weather and put some small bits of paper, what happens? It suddenly attracts the paper. Now when, when as children you are asked about how, then we have a stock reply that it is due to the charge on the comb, right? Now if there is charge on the comb, then where is the charge on the paper? You understand? Where is the charge on the paper? There is simply no charge, right? So how does it attract? How does it attract? So what happens is, is these are maybe the bits of paper, okay? I'll draw one as a bit bigger. Okay. Okay. Let us say the comb becomes positively charged. Hmm? So if it becomes positively charged due to your due to due to rubbing on the hair, right? So dry will be more. Dry will be more. Then the field will be something like this. This will be a pretty non-uniform kind of field, so maybe something like this. They will not obviously intersect. Now what happens, some electrons, though, though paper itself is, a, is an insulator, it has got a very few number of electrons, but if you bring it closer, the force is that much that this becomes the upper surface, say, will become positively char negatively charged and the lower will become positively charged. 
we still do not know what is the what is the what is the this will get charged right and it starts acting as a dipole with with the dipole moment from the from the negative to the positive so so this is the direction of p this is the direction of p correct now when e is in the direction of p what is the direction of movement of the of the dipole the direction of movement of the dipole is in in the direction of increasing field and how will it increase if these bits of paper move towards the comb right so it is actually a dipole and a non uniform electric field field interaction that leads to this force right so so bits of paper get attracted towards the comb towards the comb due to the interaction of interaction of a dipole and a non uniform electric field but had it been concluded that the uh, dipole moment or the total force acting will be in the direction of the dipole whatever we have concluded we had written so read it no but uh, you said that uh, when e is parallel to p which is which is this is the case mm -hmm. the net force experienced by the dipole is in the direction of increasing field the increasing the the field is more here not here and since we do not know yet what is that charge on the comb okay we do not know it yet okay so so let us assume for a moment that it is negatively charged so what happens to the bits of paper i i have drawn one deliberately a larger one so if it is negative then somehow the electric fields are like this no say say something like this and this phase develops a positive charge and this develops a negative charge so what is the direction of the dipole moment from negative to positive so from negative to positive this is your p direction so what happens again the dipole moment is in the same direction as the electric field so it tends to move towards the towards the stronger field the the point where the field is stronger okay the increasing field so this or that the bits of paper have to move towards the comb that is something that is that is important so so the that uh, that uh, flaw flaw that remains in our in our mind since childhood that it is due to the charges there and because because you never bothered to rub this right anywhere it was just spread on a table and maybe you brought the you brought your comb near this right that's all we have done nothing else nothing at all okay okay fine okay